The date was December 20, 2019, and this is my first attempt to RGB mod a consumer CRT TV on this Orion TV 1319. But the RGB picture had smearing from high contrast, which cannot be adjusted in any menu. There was also extreme blooming from the high contrast. This was no freebie this time. This was $20 on Facebook Marketplace. Finally, after all this time, Bingo! Bingo. Fix the high contrast and blooming issues. You're watching the Sega Holic. I added a line out and composite video input. Love the handles on Orion TVs. This is the line out jack working. And this is composite video. To achieve awesomeness, awesomeness. pull up on these pins while pulling the board out. Otherwise, lift the board in back and pull out firmly. The pins protrude through the board and sit in a hole. It needs to clear the hole to be removed. The chroma chip is a Sanyo LA76070. Looking at the underside of the board, here are the pin locations for the red, green, blue, and blanking pins for the chroma chip. From the pins, traces lead to one microfarad capacitors, then they lead to these jumpers. Here are the locations for the jumpers on the top side of the board. And it's these left side holes that leads to the chroma chip. You can add headers here and use DuPont connectors for your wires. Or you can solder in your wires directly. Looking at the bottom side of the board at the chroma chip, insert the sync signal into this point. This point also doubles as the composite video input. Now build this circuit that inserts into the left side of the jumpers that lead to the chroma chip as indicated earlier. Notice, the 75 ohm terminating resistor leads to a voltage divider. Remove the speaker cable from this socket as leaving it connected will cause a lot of noise. Just route the audio signals from the SCART socket back out externally through connectors of your choice. Done correctly, this should be awesome. awesome. For the terminating resistors, notice I put them right at the socket. I put some connectors on the harness so you can separate the back shell when servicing. You 
can source your 5 volts here. Use a potentiometer to limit the voltage just enough so the picture blanks, otherwise the TV won't turn on.